Okay, so before we looked at some uh, studies from orphanages, and now we look at adoption st an adoption study that was done. And adoption studies are really important for us to learn anything really in psychology. And here we'll look at the English-Romanian adoption study, some limitations of it, and the follow-up um, that they did to find out its effects. So what they did was um, they looked at 111 um, kids from Romania who were adopted into English families, okay? And English kids were adopted by English families. So we've got um, Romania um, orphanage and we've got England orphanage. And these kids both went to England, okay? And what they tried to see is the effects of this in their lives, right? And more importantly, whether they could um, um, kind of get over this uh, problematic upbringing, okay, and their deprivation. So we have this deprivation, which we saw also before from orphanages, and let's see if we can crush it, and we can change it into becoming, um, we can see some growth. So they started with 111 kids from Romania. They were uh, adopted into English families before the age of two. Okay. And then 52 adoptees from England, and they were assessed when they were four years old. Okay. Adopting parents were above average in education, occupation. So these guys in England were pretty good. They were smart, they were brainy, just normal guys and gals. So, the kind of the important thing here is that there was considerable physical cognitive catch up by four years. So, we had a look at them when they were when they were little, and then now we're looking at them when they're four. Well, not really, but we'll look at that in the limitations. So the whole idea is that they had so physically they had problems with their height and weight and uh, head circumference. Okay, and cognitively, they had uh, troubles um, with all these different scales, yeah, for intelligence and for many different developmental quotients. All right, and what we saw is that when they went to England, after four years, they caught up to the English kids. Okay, showing that there is a way to intervene with this deprivation process and kill it before it breeds. However, there's a bit of a problem there because um, this could have been not a, a thing to do with the environment, but it could be a genetic thing before the institution influence. Okay? Maybe there was something in Romania, some cultural uh, genetic thing that influenced the way they were brought up, the way um, as uh, as they grew up. And also, like I said here just before, it's not like they tested them when they were two. They relied on the what the the guys and the people who um, the families that adopted them said they were uh, on the entry to UK. Okay, but it was really quite a, an amazing uh, transformation from about 63% uh, 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 below the third percentile when they got to UK, and at four years, about 100%. Okay, cognitive. This is just measuring cognitively, cognitive development. Okay, so there's very a lot of catch up. Now, the big the big idea is that uh, the catch-up, as we can call it, was the greatest for those adopted before six months. And that's almost definitely going to be uh, in the exam. It's we got to get them before, they were, before six months out of the orphanages. And when they're adopted before six months, they'll pretty much be okay. So what they did was, they followed it up, they looked at it um, at six years, and at six years there was a complete weight catch-up. Okay? 
However, head to conference uh, didn't um, didn't change, but there was a weight catch up, so there weren't uh, I didn't have problems there. Cognitively, um, everything kind of you know, went back to normal uh, by age six. Okay, so linear association with duration. So we saw that they improved over time. Uh, I mean, in the same you know, linearly, so in the same rate, which is good, but we see that Romanians were more likely to exhibit attachment disorder, disorder behaviors. Okay, what that means for us though is that abnormal environments may lead to these abnormal developments, right? But you know what? They don't account for individual resilience. What does that mean? Well, really, there was a really, really big uh, variance. Remember how we talked about variance in the statistics things? So as opposed to looking like like this, where everyone was at some one stage, there was very big variance. And there were a lot of kids that weren't at uh, at the same place as others. Okay? D despite uniform extreme early deprivation, so everyone was, was treated badly early on, yeah? Uh, you would have thought this would uh, wipe out the other influence. Minority of kids who experienced prolonged deprivation showed no measurable deficit, okay, by age six. So they didn't improve. In the same way that those who you think wouldn't improve did improve. Okay? So, Basically, the big, the big uh, points here are there could be individual resilience. So while you see that there is um, problems with it, individuals can uh, persist. And the earlier you go in, the earlier in time that you adopt them, the higher level of attachment. Okay, so that was uh, uh, today's video about the English-Romanian adoption study. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.